Right, I'm gonna do a bit of testing on this welder. So the first thing I'm gonna test, it's all off and safe, so I'm just gonna test the windings on the motor, I'll test the aims of the motor. So getting a good read on the motor I think. It shows there's no short circuits or anything in it. Test the fuse. Really low, so that's good. Then we need to test both sides of the primary windings. This is 2.5 ohms. Now it says 1.1 1 .1 ohms, so pretty good. Then I'll test from one side to earth, nothing. And from the other side to earth. So we know the primary side is good, the windings at least. I suppose we ought to test the plugs wires. So I'm going to test from the live. To the incoming live, it's a good reading. Same again with neutral, good reading. Next, I'm going to plug onto the switch wire. This is the, the switch, it goes all the way up to the gun. To the trigger and back to the board. So as you can see, this is, the, this is the another place where you can test the switch. So the switch is working fine. Another thing to test is the thermal cutout. So I'll just pull that off and test across the thermal cutout. So there you go. Good reading for that. So that's working fine. So we tested the motor, the switch to the gun, the primary side, the incoming mains wires. Next we'll do the secondary side of the transformer. So there you go, it's a low ohms reading, that's good. Then you've got to go into diode mode. So, that's diode mode now. So, you can see your diodes there. Just want to set it up. Your diodes are in there. So obviously when you're testing diodes, you get a reading one way but not the other. So I'll just test two of them on this. So nothing that side, nothing that side. Should get a reading, 0.4, it's good. Move it onto the second diode. 0.4, same reading, they should all be the same. There's about eight of them in there, so you probably have to take this out to do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Right, last thing to do really is the choke. So, one side of the choke is the earth clamp, so attached to that. So this is the choke, the earth clamp, you can connect down there. And the other side is one of these. So trail it back there. So there you go, really low ohms and no short to earth. So that's it really for dead testing on the rig welder. 
So just to run through it again, tested the motor, tested the primary windings, the lead, main incoming lead, thermal cutout, the choke, primary side of the transformer, all the windings, the secondary side of the transformer is good. And then all the diodes and your regulator, or your rectifier, sorry. And that is it, choke, thermal cutout. And that is it. I will just do some live tests, I don't like doing them, but we'll just uh, have a look. So I'll plug it in. I'll come back in a minute. Now, we're live, mains power. But there's nothing from this board. As soon as I pull this trigger, it should get 240 volts on this. And it should be AC volts. That's if the board's working. Sorry, it should go to the white wire. So there you go, 240 volts. No. You gotta find the correct one first. So there you go, when I pull the trigger and when I let it off, so it only lets power go to the primary side when you pull the trigger. So I know that's working, I'll just switch it off. I don't like doing de live testing, but I'm going to plug it to one side of the rectifier and just test the output voltage on low. This should be DC now. So, switch back on. The 20 volts DC. Let's go full power. 32 volts DC. So that's it. Turn it off. I don't recommend doing them live tests, just do the dead test. You don't need to do the live, I'll just show you there. 